This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's talk about the fantastic creation of type on a path. I'm not just talking about some straight line up at an angle, that's path. We can make paths out of anything our creativity will allow us to do based on the tools that we have, and you can even move other paths in from other vector-related applications. Let's start with something simple. We're going to pick up the ellipse tool right there, and you're going to draw yourself an ellipse. But you know what? I'm feeling adventurous. I'm not doing no circle. I'm doing an oval. That's adventurous for me. Don't worry about the fill. It's going to go away in a second. The tool right here would allow us to put text inside of it. We know that. This is the one we want type on a path. Select that tool and click where you want the text to begin. I'll use my famous, now famous, copy-paste text. There you go. So we're starting to put text on that line. We can modify the line just like any other stroke in Adobe Illustrator using the right tools. For example, we could go to our selection tool, go to one of the corners, make it larger or smaller. We could um, come over here, change it that way too. Or we could pick up the direct selection tool and come over here and directly access anchor points which again gives us just that much more control of the shape. And the text, as you can see, is obediently following the stroke. So whatever you do here, and we haven't talked about formatting yet, we'll get to that later. Whatever you want to do, you can control that stroke. You can put type on that path. Tell you what, let's get out of this one and start on something new. And let's go to the ubiquitous pen tool. Pen tool's been there since 1988, and it hasn't changed much. It creates basic or complex shapes depending on your skill level with it. Let's come over here. We're going to do something very simple. Click and drag. Notice the X next to the pen tool? That means you're drawing a new path or shape. As we drag, direction lines come off that anchor point indicating we're going to curve that path. Come over to about here. Notice the X is gone. That means whether you like it or not, you're about to connect to an anchor point. Go ahead and click. And you can see there's the stroke. Now we can do anything we want with it. Let's do a gentle curve, maybe something like that. Don't worry about this. Pick up your type on path tool. Come over here and where do you want to start? Click. And there's my famous quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog's back. We are going to talk, like I mentioned, about characters and formatting and all that stuff, which will work no matter what you're doing, whether it's type on a path or type in a container. But let's look at one or two features that once type is on a path, you can work with. But they're not with the type tool. They're with the selection tool. Select it right there. You will notice that there's a line right there in front of that white box. And it'll be in front of the text. When you touch it, you'll see that icon appear next to your cursor. Don't click and drag until you see that icon. But when you do and you click and drag, you literally are moving the text on the line. That's nice. There's another big line up here. That's your right margin. Now it's going to go to the end of the line by default, but if I click and drag and bring it in, I'm generating overflow or overset text. Don't want to do that. We'll talk about that later. You have one more line that's kind of stuck up right there in the middle. And when you see that line and you touch it, you get an upside down T as an icon. When you see that upside down T, click and drag. And notice, not only are you moving the text, but you're also moving the margins on the left and right side. But you can also do this. Drag and actually flip it upside down. A um, mirrored text look, if you will. So we have a lot of different things that we can do to the text after we put it onto that path. And we could have done the same thing with the text we did on the circle. Doesn't matter. Creating type on a path is very easy. Any path you want, it will work with if you know the right tool, right there.